was great. Thank you, everybody, for braving the wind, the cold, but this is a beautiful spot for a special occasion as we begin our ceremony. We are gathered here today to celebrate one of the happiest moments in the lives of Rebecca and Michael, for on this day they will affirm for family and friends that they shall live, they shall share life in the promise of marriage. Marriage is a commitment to life, the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other relationship can equal. It is a physical and emotional joining that is promised for a lifetime. Within the circle of its love, marriage includes all of life's most important relationships. A husband and wife are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, teacher, listener, and critic. But also allow each other time to be an individual to be an individual, respect each other's wishes as well as their dreams. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. It understands and forgives that mistake, the mistakes in life that are unavoidable. <laughs> it encourages and nourishes new life, new experiences, and new ways of experiencing love that is deeper than life. When two people pledge their love for one another in marriage, they create a spirit unique unto themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written word. Marriage is a promise, a potential made in the hearts of two people who love one another and takes a lifetime to fulfill. Please join hands, which you're doing very well right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask you, Michael, do you take this woman whose hand you now hold, choosing her alone to be your wedded wife? Will you love, love oh. her, comfort her with kindness, understanding, and respect throughout your lives? Rebecca, do you take this man whose, hold, whose hand you now hold, choosing him alone to be your wedded husband? Will you love him, comfort him with kindness, understanding, and respect throughout your lives? I do. Okay, please repeat after me. I, Michael, take thee, Rebecca, I, Michael, take thee, Rebecca to be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death and us part, and thereto I pledge thee my devotion. I, Rebecca, take thee, Michael, to be my wedded husband. Having to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And there too. And there too. I pledge thee my devotion. I pledge thee my devotion. Okay. The ring's ready, huh? Okay. Oh, he's gonna get there. No. <laughs> Monetarily, oh. these rings are by pieces of metal, but under these most extraordinary circumstances, these rings take on a deep, everlasting meaning. They become a symbol of your union together in the holy bonds of marriage. Look upon these rings each day as you move through life together, and in so doing, you will have another pact that will keep your marriage secure and surrounded by mutual love as long as you both shall live. Michael, please take a breath of training. the love for which all men and women desire. May they grow in understanding and kindness. May the home that they establish be such a place of sanctuary that those who enter will find a friend. And may those two rings symbolize the strength of undying love in the hearts of both of them. Today on the 7th of August, 2010, Michael and Rebecca begin their lives as husband and wife. We wish you all the love and happiness in the world. By the virtue of authority vested in me as a justice of the peace in the state of New Hampshire, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.
Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's beautiful. Yeah, congratulations.